That's right, Doug. Uh, Chris Madden comes in having played 13 games in the county for all three wins that the uh, Guelph Storm have uh, amounted thus far this season. Chris Madden uh, helping the Guelph Storm a couple years back to an OHL championship. In the other end, David Chant becoming a usual netminder for the battalion. Chant has played in all but one game, a 1.79 goals against average so far this season. Outstanding for the second year goaltender. And included in that, a player of the week honor uh, on October the 12th with a 1.99, two and one record for that particular week. Don't mind your scoreboard. There it is, the Guelph Storm and the Brampton Battalion. This is Forbes is there to gather it. Cook watching Forbes. He bounces it off the blue line and it's kept in. Cook loose puck. Madden with the save. Rebound. Three cracks at it. They can't put it home. Chris Madden, the magician in the net for the Guelph Storm with Tyler Hanchuk. Dumps it back to Mitchell. Wrist shot. Deflected. They score. Looks like Gerby got a piece of that one right in front of David Chan to tip it home. Only three seconds left. In the penalty to Chris Rowan, so it's a power play marker for the Guelph Storm. Excellent tip there in front off the heel of the stick, I believe. And it's all about positioning on a shot from the point on that one. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, that's the newest Guelph Storm, Morgan McCormick, who looks like he got the tip there off to the right-hand side in the middle of the screen there as well. Morgan McCormick in his first game just two days into his tenure as a Guelph Storm. Jones through the middle. Tipped away. Here comes Stevens for Plunkett. Stevens with a move. Chant makes the save. Stevens runs the net. The Guelph Storm leading the Brampton Battalion. Battalion on the power play. Charlie Stevens right in on goal. Huge save from David Chant. Well, uh Maleko plays it towards the middle. Here comes Bateman with Torres. Torres heads to the bench. Bateman to the outside. He's got a man with him. Gets it out in front for Van Lusen to the backhand. He's hauled down. Front. McSwain off the side of the net. Loose puck. Hobble turnaround shot. Rebound. Rowan is stoned by Madden. Line gets it up for Bateman. Got a man out in front. Torres steps in. Lead pass for McClemens. Loose puck. Bateman can't get it upstairs. Centering pass. They score. Rafi Torres. Rafi Torres there converting a nice setup from behind the net from Jeff Bateman. And 16.51 into the first, Brampton has squared things at one. Well, Jeff Bateman sets up behind the net. He's been buzzing the last few minutes. And there he is. This top line that uh, also features uh, Lucas Havel has really done a, a great job. And because of a power play situation, McClement is also in on that one. But Jeff Bateman, uh, the wheels on that top line, shifty guys with a lot of speed, also uh, exercising some finesse and nice, nice teamwork. Good. McDonnell takes the heavy hit at center ice. Woods gathers it up at center ice. McDonnell runs right into him and right over him. Kelly has the puck for McDonnell. Tries to feed Kelly again. Loose puck. Dolman shot right on. Chant makes the save. Do All right, Nick, have fun watching the rest of this game today. Thanks a lot. All right, back to you, Doug. Charlie Stevens hammered at the top of the circle by McLaughlin. Right back into the corner. Klesla hammered behind the net by McDonnell. Together. Havel with some skating room. Lucas Havel right in on goal. He scores! Lucas Havel! A huge opening for Lucas Havel as he picked the puck up along the boards and went in to give Brampton a one-goal lead. Well, as we talked about, Doug, this is the top line for Brampton. It's got to make things happen. We're going to look at it here. Havel coming in. High slot territory, carrying the puck like he can and making the move and uh, surrendering there. Chris Madden left helpless. Nothing really he could do. Nice work along the wall, coming around with it and just carrying. Uh, picks are set. Guys are frozen on the Guelph side. Maybe a little bit tired, but uh, certainly some, uh, some, uh, some defensive uh, breakdowns there for Guelph after a long series. Absolutely. Checks and takes him off the puck. McSwain's got Thompson with him at center ice. One hands it ahead, and it comes back to McSwain for Thompson to McSwain. To the outside, he scores! Kurt McSwain, and that is one Chris Madden should have had. Absolutely, I couldn't, uh, couldn't disagree with you on that one, Doug. McSwain, a nice little uh, shift to the backhand, kept it low, 
just off the ice a little bit. As you look at them come in over the line, a two on, well, really a two on two, but nice job to cut towards and that Kevin Dahlman slow getting over there. And maybe just the first breakdown for Chris Madden, this game picked a poor time. Yeah. Dolman really also didn't play the uh, the man very well in front. He went for the hip check and really was taken out of stride as McSwain went to the outside and easily around him. After this with Rock, Lesla along the glass and out over the blue line. Here's a two-on-one break. Hobble with Torres. Flip pass to Torres. He scores! Rafi Torres again. Well, Rafi Torres making good for his second of the game. Brampton's opened up a three-goal margin. Very nice feather pass here, making the difference. Torres, the inside move, has Chris Madden at his mercy, and makes good with 35 seconds remaining in the second period. Brampton now with a three-goal advantage on the Guelph Storm, leading it four to one. He tries to corral it and can't. Bateman wheels away. Gerby hounding him from behind. Dumps it back for Hobble. Laid pass through the middle. And Madden sticks the pad to the side and doesn't budge. A huge opportunity for Rafi Torres through the middle again. This line is making plays like they've been together for five years, not two. Well, we'll look at it here. Chris Madden again doing the job on the splits. Uh, really, uh, Torres will we'll come in and a little too much of a move here. Oh, has it roll off his stick there, Torres does. Um, going to the back end, really taking it a little bit further than he really needed to, uh, Doug. You know, going, trying to shift to the back end and go up. That was really asking a lot, I think. Intercepting the Guelph passes. Stevens then runs over Lucas Hobble. Rampton allowed to carry the puck and dump it all the way down. Right on net, so Madden will have to play it, and that does it for this hockey game. We'll let the crowd count it down. The final couple of seconds tick off as the Battalion win a 4-1 hockey game over this Guelph Storm and a bit of a pileup in the corner. Well, I guess uh, Guelph trying to send a message that, you know, we're the senior team in the league and uh, we won't very well come into your barn without you thinking about having come coming back to ours and, uh, you know, face a little bit of vengeance. So the after the game activities come to a close, there's David Chant, a big hockey game for him, facing only 24 shots. Some final thoughts on the battalion and this hockey game, a big 4-1 victory. Well, uh, we talked about it, fundamentals, and Stan Butler has got uh, his squad of 17 and 18-year-olds year, 18 primarily working together, buying into a system that has them playing solid defense, uh, everybody working together and contributing. Just, as I mentioned, seven shots in that third period by the Guelph Storm. When you're facing the best goalie, you're not going to get three on just seven shots. There's the final score from the Brampton Center. 4-1, the Battalion beat the Guelph Storm. Stay with us on OHL Primetime as we wrap things up with the hammer, Mike Hancock. Tonight's three stars, Jason Malenko, Lucas Hobble, and of course the number one star, Rafi Torres. Torres with a big night and a big line. Torres, Hobble, and Bateman come up big. Let's go down to ringside where the hammer, Mike Hancock, has Rafi Torres. All right, I'm standing first by star. Rafi Torres, today's first star. And Rafi, first of all, uh, what went right for you out there today? Two goals, one on the power play? I think uh, everybody came out knowing that we were playing a tough team, Guelph. And uh, even though the ro record is a little behind what it should be, they got a really good, really good, strong, tough team. So everybody had their heads up knowing that we, if we work hard and uh, play the systems, everything will be all right. So. Now, despite the fact that Guelph's at the bottom of the standings right now, do you anticipate them as being a team that you're going to have to compete with towards the end of the season? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think uh, they're just having a little slump right now. Every team's going to have their slump. But uh, they got a really tough team. There's no way we could have let down at all because uh, one letdown and they, they, they would have been right back in it. So. All right, thanks a lot, Rafi. Great game today. All right, back up to you, Doug. The next telecast once again, Owen Sound in to visit the battalion here at the Brampton Center, Sunday, November the 19th at 7 o'clock right here on OHL Primetime, live on Rogers Sports. Barry Samuel, some final thoughts on tonight's matchup. Well, Brampton now 23 points, number one in the OHL ahead of the Barry Colts. 
uh, as they were coming into tonight's game. Uh, just proving again, Stan Butler has a system in place, and it's working very effectively as the number one goal scorer for tonight with two in one, Rafi Torres, talking about the system Stan has. Once again, a big 4-1 victory for the battalion over Guelph, for Barry Samuel, for the Hammer Mike Hancock. I'm Doug Anderson, and for the rest of the crew here on OHL Primetime, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again real soon.